Legs a Lot here, Whack Magazine. I'm here with Andy Sandimas. Did I pronounce that right? Uh, Andy Sandimas. Andy Sandimas. But you know what? I love it when people say Sandimas. I know, right? I was I was trying to put a little bit of flair into I it. I love it. It, it. it makes me sound more ethnic, and um, the more ethnic you are in porn, it seems like the more attention you get. So Ethnic is big right now. What is now. your background? Uh, I am Native American, and I am German, but I'm a blonde, so... What Mostly German, yeah. What uh, what tribe? Uh, Cherokee Sioux. Really Sioux? Mm -hmm. I, I have history with those people. I have studied a lot about the Lakota culture. Oh, really? Yeah, nice. That's awesome. Do, do you have any like roots with it, or is it just part of your family? History? It's just part of my family history. My dad is the Native American one. Honestly, he's like super whitewashed and everything. So, um, what do they call those? Apples? I don't know. Apples. The, the Native the, Americans I know call them red apples. on the outside, white on the inside. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly. that's my dad. He's very red, and when I try to get really tan, I get a little red too. Yeah. Yeah, just a little. That's something new and different in the industry. That's pretty oh, cool. Oh well. Hey, here I am. <laughs> well, so a minute ago we were talking about reality TV yeah. and uh, what we think of Jersey Shore. I think it's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. 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 And and she was moaning that she can't do her hair the way she likes to anymore because of Snoopy. No, I I used to like to have a little poof right here. Um, and I always had to, you know, kind of come back with people calling me Amy Winehouse, whatever. But, like, being called Amy Winehouse to me is so much better than being called Snooky. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck that. I, I, I tried watching five minutes of that show. It was fucking terrible. They're like, oh, I was partying, I was pranking. Dude, I've known about douchebags for years. <laughs> why, is, the, why is everybody just finding out what a douchebag is? <laughs> Like, hello. They just, they've got their own show now. But what I'm wondering is, if we're trying to highlight douchebags, why hasn't the Tool Academy gotten more notice? I, I, I have not seen watched that. Tool Academy. But um, it's specifically for douchebags. Yeah, right? I, I know. I know what it is. Um, I have a friend that was offered to be on the show, but he wasn't 21, so they wouldn't let him on it. Although he was on um, Why Is She Dating Him or Why Is She... <laughs> the MTV show, like, why, why Is She With That Guy or something. I don't know. It's all fake. Yeah. I was actually... Me and my ex-boyfriend were going to be on the first season of Engaged and Underage. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, and then we decided that, you know, getting married when you're, like, you know, not of age to drink is probably a really bad idea. I know people have done that. It didn't work. And MTV kept twisting our words and kept telling, trying to get me to say things that were nasty about this person's mother. And, you know, I didn't like that. So I said, you know, why don't you guys eat a dick and go back to New York City and not bother me anymore? And they did. We filmed two, <laughs> we, we filmed two sessions of the show and then they were gone. So... You know, yeah, it's, it's all fake. I don't, off. yeah, it's like I don't want to be made an ass of on national television. I'd rather be humiliated doing porn for lots of money. Well, <laughs> that so, makes sense. That's what we like yes. to hear. <laughs> so how did you get into porn? Yeah, I always wanted to do it. Um, even before I was a real slut, because I feel like in all honesty in my real life, I'm like, I'm like not like a... A natural slut. I'm more of an exhibitionist. You know what I mean. Um, but when I was like 14 years old, I saw Terry uh, Weigel or Wheel or how, however you say her yeah. name in a, um, a horror movie. This really shitty B horror movie called Cheerleader Camp. And I thought, wow, that girl is really beautiful. I wonder what she's up to now. So I IMDb'd her, and I saw that she was a playmate turned hardcore porn star. And I was like, fuck yeah, I want to be a porn star. And then I watched like the Savannah E. True Hollywood story. She like blows her brains out and everything. And I was like, how glamorous! I want to be like Aww, that someday. So uh, I, I always kind of glamorize porn stars. And I, I started watching porn in high school because I wanted to suck dick better. I wanted to give my boy, I wanted my boyfriend to have the best beach in the world. So, everything I know about sex, I learned from porn stars. <laughs> So I, I, I studied how to give like a really nasty blowjob, like, you know, just really intense and gross and just make it really, really fucking, you know, just nasty. And I started working at a porn store. 
I was kind of like a like a goth girl back then, and I was looking through ABM magazine and I saw an ad for art school sluts, and I was like, whoa, a porn that has girls that look like me in it. That's kind of weird. That means I could probably do it. That's kind of interesting to me. And then I randomly came out to a convention in 2007 and um, met Ian Kai, and I work for him. And now I work for everyone. <laughs> and I, I like working for everyone though. I, I like doing gonzo porn a lot yeah, more. Really? Yeah. So you're not into acting so much? You know, I'm, I'm a good actress, so I always get cast in features and I, I get a lot of that, but um, when it comes down to it, I just like to show up and get fucked. <laughs> I like to show up, get my makeup done, take some pictures, you know, smile a little bit, and then I just like to get fucked really hard and go home. I'm like, I'm like a quickie kind of girl, even with my boyfriend who's floating around here somewhere. I just, I just like to get fucked and then be done with it. So something else, right? Get yeah, exactly. Like my boyfriend, you know, like if he fucks me longer than 15 minutes, I'm not, I'm just not into that. Really? But I mean, it's longer than that on set, right? It's way longer yeah. than that on set, but when you're doing a feature, it's way, way longer than you're there that like, on set. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Can but we be done now? Because, because I'm a good actress and because I can literally read my script and know my lines in like five minutes, I'm the kind of person that gets annoyed when other people can't do that. Yeah. And that's where doing features fucking blows. <laughs> <laughs>